Hi, this is Grace Pamela with Samrana.com, and this is the preview and tutorial on how to use the Animal Overlay Action Collection by Samrana. So here is an image we're going to apply a zebra overlay onto. We are going to press play, continue, and you can choose any one of your animal overlays. Today I'm going to show you the zebra. And press place. Then you're going to hold the shift key down on your keyboard, or you can select the link here, and then drag the corners of your animal so you have it the right size, and press the check mark. And here you have the animal resizer rotators and flip, or you can change the perspective of. Down here you have the animal editor. Here we can add a shadow blend. Just kind of blends it in a little better. You can always, uh, if you want to change the opacity of that, double click inner glow here and you can change all the settings over here. Press OK. You can also darken, lighten your animal. Press continue. I'll show you this one on another image that I'm going to use. Uh, you can add more color. You can blur your animal. Or that one I'll show you really quick. I'm going to apply another animal overlay. Press continue. Select your animal overlay and press place. here you can select the layer that you want to blur and press play and then you can also play as many times as you need to to make it as blurry as you need to um, the only recommendation I have if you click shadow blend first and then you select blur my animal. You'll get a line right here. You can see it right here. So you just want to make sure you blend that in more or you just take it off. So you can lower the opacity of it just so it's not, the line isn't as noticeable. That's the only um, thing. Otherwise you can avoid that completely also. So there you have that one. You can also paint on blur. And this one is great for if you're going to do the four legs and you don't want them showing. What you're going to want to do is choose a soft white paintbrush. Make sure it's soft. Select your black layer mask and just kind of paint over the areas you want blurry. And you can run this over your whole image. Just make sure when you use this action that you've already used the above that you want to use because now it's flattened since you're working on your whole image rather than just your zebra or your animal overlay. You can also clone. And this will select your clone, but just in case it doesn't, make sure you click your clone stamp. And then you want to hold Alt down on your keyboard, and you can select an area that you want to clone. This is perfect for cloning areas of grass or anything that would help blend in their feet a little better or blend them into 
the image. So just a quick example, um, you'll want to clone an area of your image that's kind of realistic. And just kind of blend it in. And I'm just going to show you really quickly. Up here, I wouldn't be able to use the same down here because this is a different focal plane. So you'll want something a little more blurry. A little harder to blend in just because we already blurred it. So what you can do also is choose an area of grass down here and then you can go to paint on blur again and then just blur that again. Another thing you can do to help blend things in more is to flatten your image and use your spot healing brush. Because that kind of pulls from the image. There you go. Now you can paint on shadows. And again, this is not a perfect job. Uh, paint on shadows below them or wherever you need them. And you can also adjust the opacity of any of one of these layers. Now I'm going to take you over to this image we are going to create a silhouette. So here I'm just going to choose a zebra that has a good form for a silhouette. That's a check mark. And I'm going to flip. Move it a little closer. And then click the silhouette action. Let's continue. And I kind of uh, like how the stripes show just a little bit, but it's up to you how you want it to show or not show for each animal. You can adjust the opacity completely. Now coming back over here, I am going to show you our final image, now that that's pretty much done. You can also add more color, and these actions will help blend in your overall image. If you don't like any of the effects on your human subjects or anything like that, or it's too much on your animal, you can always use a black uh, soft paintbrush and erase it off of your subject or wherever you wish to erase it off of. You can also double up on anything if you want more of it. You can also add warmth or coolness. And you can add hazy light and then also black and white. And there you go. That's pretty much it. Uh, you can turn your whole image black and white also. And you can also use the tools down here to help you zoom in, zoom out, fit on screen, flatten image, resize for the web, add sharpening, happy ever after, or whatever you like. Thank you so much for watching.